Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well, if you're in the market for a new home computer, I want you to hold on just a second before you make that purchase because I want to give you my top five reasons why you should go ahead and build your own computer this time around instead of buying a system that's pre-built. It's going to save you money, it's going to be a much better value, and I think you're going to be much more uh, impressed with the performance. All right, so stay tuned, and here we go. All right, well, I want to thank you for sticking around. And uh, again, if you're not familiar with my channel, I do some old school electronics reviews. I do a few technology instructional videos. I just do this for fun. Um, I have actually built uh, two of my own computers over the last 10 years. And I want to kind of just share that, that the reasoning behind building your own machine instead of buying one that's pre-made. Because a lot of times we just think that we're just going to go buy a machine off the shelf and it's going to do what we want. And many times we can find ourselves disappointed. So we're going to go and get started with my first top five on this channel ever. So reason number five why you should just think about building your own machine. And again, just hear me out till the end of this video, and I'll, I'll lead you into some sources that you can go to when it comes to the actual manufacturing of the machine, putting it together. Um, it's going to be parts flexibility. So when I was in the market for uh, building my own gaming PC, you know, I had a certain budget that was set. Uh, one thing that was nice is I was able to take my time buying the parts that I did, and I was able to choose the brands that I wanted to choose. Now, if you buy, you can say head on over to HP's uh, website, which is fine. Um, they've got pre-made systems that are ready to ship, ready to go. You can customize them a little bit, but they're going to come automatically with Windows 10, they're automatically going to come with a minimum amount of specifications, usually four gigs of memory on a budget and one terabyte hard drive. And, and that's fine. You can get by with a system like that. But if you're somebody that wants to put a little bit, uh, not even more money into your system, but you want your system to possibly last longer, uh, not be outdated so quickly because you're putting more premium parts in it for the same price, uh, again, consider going uh, the route that you wanted to go. Me, I wanted to get a Samsung hard drive and a Western Digital hard drive, and I wanted to get G-Skill RAM, and I wanted to get, you know, a certain kind of video card. So by buying the parts myself, um, I was able to have the flexibility that I wanted for my budget. I was also able to spread out my purchases over about six months. So what was a $1,000 gaming PC um, actually was very simple to put together as time went on. I was able to just do a couple hundred bucks a month as my budget allowed. Now the uh, actual tower itself, I did find myself going over to Amazon.com but I primarily bought everything from Newegg. So everything that I got was purchased from Newegg out of my own pocket. I'm not trying to promote Newegg, but for somebody who's a first time PC builder, uh, the resources that are available over there, the parts and the prices are really hard to beat compared to anybody else. So parts flexibility is gonna be my number five reason uh, why you should think about building your own machine. Just the fact you can put in it whatever you want. Number four is gonna be parts replacements. Okay, so you get yourself your own pre-built machine, you get yourself maybe a one year warranty because you didn't wanna buy the extended warranty for it. Well, in two or three years, let's just say that some part of that machine fails. Now there's a, there's an okay chance to say the hard drive can be replaced or maybe the power supply, but many times the motherboards or the ways that the ways that these things are constructed is, is proprietary, as in you have to have that direct replacement part. You can't just buy some other generic part and make it work. And so there you are sitting with basically a brick that the family can no longer use. Whereas if you spend the same amount of money and make your own machine, there is a pretty good chance that uh, you'll be able to uh, replace those parts if they go out. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I like my gaming PC because I push that machine pretty hard with a lot of the audio video work that I do with it, uh, with the gaming that I do on it. If something would burn out, say, the uh, video card, I could turn around and get myself a, a better one or get myself a direct replacement if I need it. And uh, that's one of the really cool things about it. And this machine that I have right now is already going on uh, three and a half years old at this point, and uh, I've not had any problems with it. And if something would happen to go out, you know, at that point, I can decide if I want to upgrade the processor or the motherboard and so on. And again, if you've never built your machine before, your own machine before, it's really not that hard. If you can plug stuff in, if you can hook up a couple cables and uh, use a, basically a screwdriver, you can assemble your own uh, gaming PC or home PC for that matter. Uh, again, so number four, parts replacement, very important when it comes time. If you want that machine to last, if something goes out, very easy to replace it if necessary. Number three is going to be future upgrades. Okay, so let's just say the uh, you know the video card goes out, and uh, or let's just say the video card's not working the way I want it to. Well, again, I can just head on over, and it's almost like car shopping. I can go find myself another video card over at Newegg and pick out the one that I want, and I can just go ahead and pop it in and continue using it. Or maybe I want to put more RAM in the machine, or maybe I want to just go ahead and bite the bullet and get a new motherboard and another processor. I have that way to do those future upgrades. So the machine really doesn't ever seem to get outdated. Now, it can get to a point where, say, the newest processors won't work with your motherboard, or maybe uh, the, the RAM that you bought, you know, they don't make that RAM anymore, or maybe there's newer factors faster RAM out there. The nice thing is you can just do little parts upgrades over time, but you can get yourself a solid, say, three to five years of just basic home use 
out of your own built machine, which is what I'm looking at right now. Three years and I haven't had to replace a part. And I did kind of overbuy with my budget. I did buy parts maybe that were a little more powerful than I needed at the time, but I did it because I was getting tired of having to buy a new machine like every two or three years, right? Uh, the number two reason why you should consider, so again, number three is uh, future upgrades. Number two reason to consider building your own PC is because building it is very easy. If you don't even know where to start, there are some awesome YouTube channels out there that uh, will give you, um, again, I'm not going to play the audio on this because I don't want to get a copyright strike, but these, these uh, YouTube channels, they, they basically give you the entire list of the parts that you need. They show you exactly what to pick up, like here's just a Scatterbolt video from July of 2018. They tell you the, the links that you click on, exactly what to get, exactly what you need to buy, where to buy the RAM, depending on the country that you're in. So if you can do any kind of online shopping, you can basically get the stuff that you need. And then the video will take you through the entire process of putting the machine together, which is really cool because they, they, they make it simple, step by step. You know, part one, take this out of the box, plug it in here. Part two, put this over here, part three. So it's it's almost like you're just like you're putting together a recipe. And uh, the first time I did my own gaming PC, I was pretty scared I was gonna mess it up and it was very simple. And and again, if you know somebody that that has any kind of technological uh, instruction or if you know anybody that, that works with technology or computers, you know, you can always call a friend if you have a question. You can always Google questions if you have them, but it's really any more, so much more plug and play that, that it really is not that difficult. Okay, so again, that is my uh, number two reason building it is really easy. It took me, my last gave me PC, uh, again, probably about two hours from start to finish to get the case assembled, to get the tower assembled, and to uh, to get everything, you know, out and get everything plugged in, and it really was not that hard. Again, it's just a matter of installing shelves, okay? So that's enough of me ranting on that. So building it is very easy. And again, price versus value. Okay, so you can go on back to HP, and I'm not trying to rip on HP. They make Fine computers, there's nothing wrong with what they make. But uh, again, if you look at the $300 system, what they offer you, uh, it seems like a fair deal, you know, but you might have to pay for shipping and, you know, there may be some sales tax and all that fun stuff that goes on it. Um, and, and you're going to get okay specs on a machine. But again, if you head over and uh, just say, pick one of these videos that uh, offers you, you know, how to build, build your own gaming PC for $300 or how to make a home PC for $250, bucks, uh, you are going to find out that you're going to be getting much more power much more powerful components, much more efficient components, and uh, much less frustration for you as a longtime user as time goes on because you're going to be stretching out your buying dollar, right? So hopefully this is making sense to you. Again, the idea, and just to kind of recap a little bit, the idea here is just to go out, set yourself whatever your budget's going to be, go to go to the store and do some pricing on the computers, go online and see what's available, and then head on over to say YouTube and just do a search for a PC, you know, budget PC build or whatever your budget is. Say you want to do a thousand dollar PC build or you want to do a fifteen hundred dollar gaming PC build. There are basically videos for it. And I kind of wish I would have made a video for mine, but when I did it, I just you know wasn't really doing a whole lot for YouTube videos at the time. So again, the price, the value. I want to see you guys get a machine that you can replace the parts on. You can upgrade the parts if you need to. Um, a machine that's going to be much quicker. Plus, another thing also is uh, you know Windows, Windows 10, Microsoft basically gives it away these days, right? You can download it uh, for free. You can buy yourself a legal license with a key on eBay for 10 or 15 bucks to unlock your copy of Windows 10 and you can start using it. In fact, that's what I do on my own machine. But there's also a lot of free operating systems out there, a lot of Linux-based systems, Ubuntu and so on, where you can very easily just download the operating system on a flash drive, plug it into your computer, hit start, and it will take you through the entire setup process. And you got yourself a free operating system, which would be great for, say, a kid's system the first time you're getting somebody into it. Or maybe you just want to just strictly go as, as low of a budget as possible. You don't want to spend any more than you have to. Then you can go the uh, the, the Linux route if you want to, which is a free operating system that, that's, that's basically uh, programmed by the enthusiasts or by the people that actually use it. So again, you've got a lot of really cool options that are out there if you want to just go ahead and make your own machine. So basically, that's it, guys. Again, we're just talking about being able to replace the parts, put faster parts in the machine, uh, to be able to uh, have parts that perform better than something that's pre-built off the shelf. And that was a choice that I decided to make three years ago when I decided to build my own gaming PC, and I have not looked back since then, and my machine's been running great. I can run really high settings uh, on gaming. It does a great job for video editing. You got somebody in the family that does a lot of video production and stuff. Again, the gaming PC is really, really an awesome route to go. So anyway, guys, that is it. If you like what you see, please like or subscribe. And again, you can check me over on my uh, my YouTube channel, Travis Patushka. And again, we got a lot of, it's kind of a variety of videos. I'm kind of a coffee fanatic, so we do some stuff on coffee, but... We also talk about vintage Macs and a little bit of computer parts, some components, some pet stuff. Get a little bit of everything out there for you. So anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for listening to me ramble. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to leave any feedback on this video, please do.
if there's anything I missed, uh, make sure you let me know. But again, most of the stuff that we're looking at, it comes with at least a 90-day to a one-year warranty. Most of the parts are going to be a one-year warranty. So if something's going to go out in the first couple months, you can easily get it replaced under warranty. So anyways, guys, that is it. Thanks for watching. Please like or subscribe. And uh, again, we got a lot more videos coming your way in the future. So guys, have a great week, and we will talk to you later. All right, bye-bye.